Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Therefore being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith. For whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. For by faith ye stand. We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is meet, because that your faith groweth exceedingly, and the charity of every one of you all toward each other aboundeth. That the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them through faith and patience inherit the promises. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost.